Hi witches! I had already started this video a minute ago and then it shut off me. So I'm going to start over. Um, I want to show you how to make a protective sachet um, with out of herbs. Um, the recipe that I'm going to do is in this book, The Complete Book of Incense, Oils, and Brews by Scott Cunningham. This is a really great book if you're um, kind of newly discovering um, that you are a witch. Um, and you, if you're into like kitchen witchery, herbs, stuff like that, this is a really great book. Um, and while I'm making this, I'm going to read to you the properties of the herbs as described in this book called The Herbal Alchemist Handbook. Another really great book if you really want to get into herbs. This is by Karen Harrison. So because I had already started this video, I already have the first herb down on my little, um, you're, you are supposed to do this in a white cloth. I have white tissue paper. Um, I'm just going to kind of move this down so you can see what I'm doing as I'm doing it. Um, so this one actually has two parts, marjoram. I've already put one healthy pinch. We're going to put another healthy pinch. This I just get right from the spice aisle in the store. All right, and marjoram is associated with the water element, and it's also associated with the planets Mars and Venus. Um, if you sprinkle it around the perimeter of your home or even grow some, um, by your front door, it offers protection to the inhabitants of the home. So uh, already you see that we've got one protective herb in here. The second one is one part angelica root. I get this at a local metaphysical shop. Um, you can order these online. Um, um, one of our uh, people in our group on Facebook, Tammy, the tea witch, um, has a shop called Herbal Key Apothecary, and she has lots of great herbs. You can order from her, she'll ship. Um, or I encourage you to go into her shop, it's beautiful. Um, so we've got one part of Angelica Root, and that is associated with a fire element and associated with the sun. And this is like a bigger, obviously, dried root, so we're just gonna put a little bit on top there. Uh, it's one of the most utilized herbs for protection. So it's associated with the Archangel, Archangel Michael, he is the vanquisher of the wicked. That sounds very protective, I would say, right? Um, one part dill seed. Now the dill seed, I have dill in my garden. And I'll tell you, I think once you grow that, you can't get rid of it. It seems to be quite invasive, but we love it. Smells great. I went out the other day. I'm in Michigan, and we are transitioning from fall to winter. So it's, I mean, we've already had a pretty good frost and I thought, I'm not going to have anything out there. I have no dill. What am I going to do? I don't want to go to the store. I had one dill head left with already dried seeds on the top. Hello, universe provides. So it's one part dill seed for this. Um, dill also is um, related to the fire element and the planets Mercury and Venus. It's also one of the most popular protection herbs likely i think due to the ease of acquiring that um sprinkled around your bed promotes the sleeper um to have you know to have probably good dreams and my only question is is that might be a little fragrant for me to put by my bed anyways we're gonna do one part herb put that right on top Smells good. Smells like pickles. Last thing is clove. One part clove. I love clove. Cloves associated with a fire element and the planet Uranus. Um, burned as an incense, it lends protection and joy to your home. So it's also great for financial opportunities. Um, and Shell will pro probably be talking um, or pro spoke of these in the um, kitchen witchery class which you can find on the group as well. So one part cloves. Does anybody ever just like simmer a clove um, potpourri well with part cloves in it? Oh man, it smells so good. So we're just gonna wrap that up. Actually, we're gonna, what we're gonna do is fold it towards us so that we bring protection, spin it around clockwise, fold it again, and then we'll just go ahead and twist it. And I've got white string. Wrap it around really good. And tie it. 
and you're all set. You can put that in a windowsill of your home for protection. Um, you can put it in your pocket if you're going into a particularly heavy day or situation that you think might be kind of heavy um, for protection. Put it in your bra. I don't know if I'd use tissue paper for that because it would be crinkly and it might get, I don't know, kind of nasty. But um, I, you could put it in your car um, for protection while driving around. And that's it. Um, I will probably delve into this book and find some other stuff and maybe do some videos for you guys. I hope you liked this one and we will keep bringing you some content on this YouTube channel, okay? Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.